Hello everyone, welcome to another installation. Today we'll be installing the Samsung 870 Cubo solid state drive, which is a SATA 2.5 inch solid state drive. This is the newest Cubo drive. The previous was the 860, and this is the now the 870. It's supposed to have a faster read and write speed. It has 560 megabytes per second and 530 megabytes per second. So this is just, just the installation of this. It says quality and value optimized and everything. So we'll be installing this and we'll also be installing the Samsung 16 gigabyte DDR4 26, 66 megahertz RAM. This, this installation will be done on the Acer Helios Predator 300. So I've done installation before and you got to see the installation of the hard drive but that hard drive unfortunately failed so <laughs> I got this new solid state drive it's a little bit over 200 US because I prefer the 2 terabyte version and I think that would be better for the storage over time because I do of course I do videos and editing and I need large storage space so I decided to get that so I will of course update you over time to see how that goes all right so let's get with it now safety first you also want to ensure that you have on your static band your anti-static band this is supposed to draw away static electricity from your body and it's supposed to protect your internals from static electricity and that is very important especially if you're going to be um, dealing with something that is expensive or anything actually in these days and times you want to ensure you protect everything because it's COVID times, huh? So, let's begin. Okay, let me done with that. Now this is a simple part right here. As you can see, it has the points. This is actually directly to where you need to just put your hand. And it's very simple, as you can see right here. Just lift up and it's off. Now you can see we already removed the hard drive. I'm just gonna put it right back here. Now, there's a few things that you would probably have to do first. Now, as I usually say in all my videos, safety first. And when I mean safe, what I mean when I say safety first, I mean to take out the battery first. So you wanna ensure you remove your battery. And I prefer not to touch it. remove it Good. all right okay so as you can see here I've already having one Samsung I actually prepared this before but <laughs> That video did not record, so I have no video for that. But that's so, oh well, that's life. So I'll be replacing the Kingston 8GB memory card or RAM with the Samsung. So that process is a simple, a simple process. So let me just get that over with. So you just, I'm just taking this off. I just cut this with some pen okay. and open up and there we go. The first thing you want to do of course is to remove what is currently here.
Alright, let's do this. There we go. Now, of course, I'll have to start that up and see if it was installed the way I would like it. But generally, that's how you do it, right? Let's get on to installing the SSD. Let's do a quick unboxing here. with a little solid state drive installation guide and of course here is solid state drive as you can see it's quite tiny and it's just like a, a regular hard drive which just it's small you never think two terabytes so that's something as two terabytes would be this small all right but it is quite small all right so I'm just gonna put on this, right? Now, since this is this actually comes with the laptop. All right. Okay, good. Alright, this is to ensure it is safe and secure in this spot doesn't bounce around with the laptop or anything like that all right so you want to ensure it's stuck nicely in and it doesn't bounce around right so if you right there it's very secure good and that's very good so what i usually like to do is to test everything ensure everything is working quite well and Okay, so I'm back and you may be wondering why I am zoomed in to this part. And now what happened? I installed the SSD and I went to check to see why what when it was was installed. And I went to this manager, I wasn't finding it there. So I removed it. I put in another hard drive to see what was the problem. Um, I also checked the SSD on my external, I hooked up the external cable, it was working there quite well, it did everything I needed to do, but it just wasn't connecting at this point. So at first I thought it might have been an issue with the laptop itself, right? Or it maybe was an issue with the cable, right? So after I already we determined it's not an issue with the SSD, I said maybe I need to get a new cable. But before I went that route, I decided just on a hunch to just take it out, straighten it out, and put it back in properly. I did so, and it worked. So, I just br brought you back here to get to give you a better idea and to know what you need to do in a situation like this. Also, it is important to know before you buy an SSD, you need to research the limits of your respective laptop. This is the AC Pretty Helios 300. You need to check what are the limits of the AC Pretty Helios 300, whichever version you have. The reason why that is extremely important is because you can get something that may be over the limits of the motherboard. All right. So, for example, this motherboard, the max is 32 gigabytes of RAM. You don't want to go over don't want to go over the RAM of, of more than 32 gigabytes of RAM.
Also, it is important to note that you can upgrade to a Wi-Fi 6 card here. That is, that is acceptable. The max storage is 32 gigabytes. SSD, SATA, 2 gigabytes. SSD, M.2, and they say 512 me um, megabytes um, NVMe. All right, it may be a bit to hold more, but probably should stick with the fighter NVMe, which is sucky. All right, so keep these things in mind when you're buying things. Check it before you actually install it, because you don't want to go and buy something that cannot be used. All right. So this is Editor AC here. I decided to stop the video, and I will do another video concerning the testing of the 870 Kivo or Kivo and show you the difference between it and the other two ssds that are already installed so as usual if you like what you see or you like the video then press like if you have any questions or any suggestions please leave a comment and of course if you want to see more videos like this then please subscribe this is Acer and i'll see you again in another video